on a bullet train somewhere between Sendai and Tokyo. Welcome to Studio 90. The U.S. Women's National Team has just one day of rest between facing Japan on April 1st and Brazil on April 3rd in Chiba. We talked to U.S. head coach Pia Sundhaga and several of the U.S. players about facing Brazil for the first time since the dramatic quarterfinal victory at the 2011 FIFA Women's World Cup, as well as a quick turnaround. It's a very quick turnaround, so we're definitely going to have to take care of our bodies and, you know, recuperate as much as possible. Um, but another exciting match. I mean, facing another one of the top teams in the world. Having game, day off game uh, is tough um, for a team to regroup that quickly, but it's something that we've been able to do before, so we're looking forward to facing Brazil, another uh, top team in the world. One day, and uh, as we prepare for Brazil, we will see some new players uh, in, in that game because we can't play, you know, have you played 90 minutes today? I don't want them to play another 90 in two days after. So there will be more players having a chance to play against another good team. So right now we're at Sendai train station and we're getting ready to head over to Shiba, I believe it's pronounced. And, uh, you know, after a lot of traveling, it does get tough and it is hard on our bodies, but at the same time, we need to be prepared for this next game against Brazil. Um, so right now we're getting through the travel and looking forward to our next game. I think physically um, right now is one of the biggest issues, obviously. Today is a travel day and then we play again tomorrow. Um, so I think just recovering our bodies, getting as much um, fuel as we can to be ready physically. And then mentally, I think um, it's not the Olympics, you know, it's just preparation. So mentally, I think right now, um, we're going to be okay. We're going to be able to bounce back pretty quick. It's not like an emotional win against Brazil in the World Cup. Um, this is just a learning environment, and we're free to you know, make mistakes and learn from it. So I think it's good preparation for the Olympics. I would say typically it is hard to play games with one day in between. However, when we play against teams like Japan and Brazil, who are teams that we've you know, been rivals against for so many years, and we've had so many great matchups with them, um, that it's not hard for us to get motivated and amped for the games, and I think we're really excited for this one. This is a great tournament. Um, you know, all the teams nowadays are, are so tough, and just to play against two quality opponents, such as Japan and Brazil, heading into the Olympics is just, it's, it's invaluable, and we're really looking forward to uh, one more tough game and going back to the States. That's it for this edition of Studio 90. Remember, you can watch USA versus Brazil live from Chiba, Japan, 7 a.m. Eastern time on April 3rd, on ESPN2, ESPN3, and follow along on USsoccer.com's Match Tracker and via Twitter at USsoccer underscore WNT.